And this week's The Science of It, we are learning all about chinchillas. <laughs> okay, so Alex Alisi is at the Orlando Science Center to tell us all about the little animal that's actually endangered. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Science of It here at the Orlando Science Center. I'm here with Hannah and Madison, and who do we have here today? We have some very special friends today. This is a chinchilla. Chinchilla. Her name is Poppy. Now, chinchillas are animals that you might see at a pet store, you might see in somebody's home, uh, but they normally are native to South America, so you're not going to see them hopping around here in Florida. <laughs> okay. So tell me a little bit, what is a chinchilla? Sure. So a chinchilla is a rodent. These are the longest lived rodents in the world. They can live to be about 20 years old, okay. and they live in very high, dry parts of the Andes Mountains. So you would normally find a chinchilla upwards of 10,000 feet plus. Okay. So it's very cold and it's very arid where they live. It's like a cold desert, basically. Very dry. So to get water, they actually nibble on cactuses. Really? Yeah, there's not a lot of drinking water, so that's what they that's what they eat. They are also herbivores. They eat lots of little grasses and seeds and plants. And of course, they have this very thick fur. They have the thickest fur of any land mammal, which oh, is wow. really neat. So they look very big and fluffy, but in reality, they're only about that big. They're all <laughs> fluff, right? We say that. Nice. So they, in order to keep that coat nice and clean, they actually bathe in volcanic dust. Really? So it's normal for chinchillas to live on the sides of volcanoes. And because they can't sweat and they can't really groom themselves all over, mm. a way that they keep their fur nice and clean and healthy is actually to roll around in volcanic dust. So that's something that we provide for them here at the Science Center as well. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Um, so you say you have two of these chinchillas. What do they like to do around the Science Center? What kind of stuff do they do for fun? Sure. So just like any pet that you would have at home, they do need a lot of exercise. So we actually have exercise balls that we place the chinchillas in. Uh, we like to run them every single day. Lots of different toys. They always need something to chew on. Their teeth are constantly growing, kind of like rabbits need okay. lots of things to chew on. We provide that for them as well. Cool. Uh, and then you, you mentioned before to me that they are endangered. Is that right? Yes. And the wild chinchillas are an endangered species. Okay. So uh, back in the late 1800s, people realized how soft and amazing their <laughs> fur is. Um, and they were overhunted for things like coats and for use mm -hmm. as pets. And it nearly wiped them out. They thought that they were extinct at one point. Um, but a few have been found cool. since then. Um, now it's illegal to take chinchillas out of the wild. And we do breed them here in the state. So if you do mm -hmm. want one as a pet, after you do your research and you're in for the 20-year poop machine commitment. <laughs> uh, you want to make sure, you know, that's one that was bred in the States. That's completely sustainable. Uh, but now they're in trouble because of habitat loss. So there's mm. a lot of mining going on in their habitat for things like gold and copper, things that are in our everyday electronics, cell mm. phones, tablets, even things like hair dryers and headphones. Right. Um, so something that we can do to help is to recycle those things. So we've heard of recycling with paper and plastic. You can recycle metal as well. There's a lot of places in Orlando that will let you do that for free, and that reduces our need to mine new materials to make those electronics from. Right, cool. And if you want to check out the chinchillas or any other animals in the Science Center, where can they go? What can they do? Sure, you can check us out at osc.org, and that has information on all of the pop-up animal programs that are throughout our building. Cool. Mass and Hannah, thank you so much for introducing us to the chinchillas, and thank you for joining us here at the Science of It. They sure are cute, right? Well, if you want to see what other cool stuff is happening at the Orlando Science Center, it's open every day from 10 until 5.